A lot of people in my comment section thought I said Inoue doesn't have skill. Don't get me wrong, Inoue does have skill, but his power is different. That's why people call him a monster. But he's not as tested like Fulton. The win over Denier was something special, don't get me wrong, but Denier was very old in boxing terms, especially in the second fight. Inoue is fighting a completely different fighter. Fulton has size and athleticism over Inoue. But I did say if Inoue can get on the inside, he can do some damage to Fulton and possibly stop him. Fulton is more battle tested. If you look at Fulton's boxing record, you will see he has 21 fights. In those 21 fights, he has beaten four undefeated fighters back to back and two were world champions you can see for yourself now if you look at Inoue's boxing record he has 24 fights and in those 24 fights he's only beaten one undefeated fighter in his whole career anyone in boxing knows it's harder to be an undefeated fighter than a fighter that's already lost before because that one loss can change a fighter's mentality. That one loss can send them into a spiral of losing. Now don't get me wrong. I am not taking away anything from Inoue's skill. I'm only highlighting Fulton's credentials. But this is a great fight. And Inoue does have skill to make this a compelling and competitive fight to watch. Fulton's travelling to Inoue's back garden. So Inoue does have people that's going to support him. But he also has a lot of pressure. This is a great fight. But I, I can't lie. I want to see Inoue versus Javante Davis. I think that's going to be crazy. I think that would be a lot. That would be a big pay-per-view fight. 100% that would be a big pay-per-view fight. So if Fulton can get past... If Inoue can get past Fulton... Javante versus Inoue. But for now, it is Inoue versus Fulton. Who do you think is going to win? Let me know in the comment section. Jonah Goodman, I'm out.